What is multimedia? Well, let's talk about it in a bit. Good day, learners. I am Teacher Izzy, and I'm here to help you in this learning journey. Before we start, make sure that you have your pen, paper, and self-learning module ready. At the end of this module, you are expected to identify multimedia resources and use correct and appropriate multimedia resources when orally giving information making explanations, and narrating events in personal or factual recounts. Multimedia is a representation of information in an attractive and interactive manner with the use of a combination of text, audio, video, graphics, and animation. In other words, we can say that multimedia is a computerized method of presenting information combining textual data, audio, visuals, graphics, and animations. For example, email, Yahoo Messenger, video conferencing, and multimedia message service. Based on the engaged census, multimedia can be five main types. Text and graphics, images, audio, video, and animations. Types of Multimedia 1. Text and Graphics Text is an important component used in many multimedia applications. They are characters that are used to create words, sentences, and paragraphs. Text alone provides just one source of information. Yet, text is good at providing basic information. It is the simplest and often the most effective way to get one's message across. Insufficient attention given to the presentation and flow of text within multimedia application can result in the failure to communicate the presentation's central message. Graphics Defined as visual presentations such as artwork, drawings, or designs. Example Slideshow is a presentation used to communicate information through a series of slides. Along with regular text, your slides can contain numerous types of content such as tables, images, drawings, charts, links, word art, videos, and audio. Prezi is a presentation tool that can be used as an alternative to traditional slide making programs such as PowerPoint. Instead of slides, Prezi makes use of one large canvas that allows you to pan and zoom to various parts of the canvas and emphasize the ideas presented there. Prezi supports the use of text, images, and videos and also provides a collection of templates to choose from to help new users get accustomed to the interface. Infographic is a visual presentation of information in the form of a chart, graph, or other image accompanied by minimal text intended to give an easily understood overview, often of a complex subject. Educational Blog is an online journal or informational website displaying information in the reverse chronological order with latest posts appearing first. It is a platform where a writer or even a group of writers share their views on an individual subject. EduBlog is intended for educational purposes. 2. Audio is the audible part of a transmitted signal that is a recording or reproduction of acoustic signals, therefore sound, vibration transmitted through a solid, liquid or gas composed of frequencies within the range of hearing and of a level. Example, podcast 
is an episodic series of spoken word digital audio files that a user can download to a personal device for easy listening. 3. Video Animation Video is a series of electronic signals used to generate a steady source or still images which stimulate movement. Videos can utilize graphics, pictures, or text and are used for entertainment, education, or other purposes. Animation is a simulation of movement created by series of illustrations or photographs displayed in rapid succession. Examples Lecture capture is a process of recording classroom lectures as videos and making them available online for students to review after the class. Documentary video is a non-film or video intended to document reality primarily for the purpose of instruction, education, or maintaining a historical record. Vlog is a video that documents a person's life. In short, Video blog, as the name suggests, a vlog is a video blog that records a person's thoughts, opinions, and interests typically for publication on the internet. Educational websites include websites that have games, videos, or topic-related resources that act as tools to enhance learning and supplement classroom teaching. These are the multimedia resources you can use when giving information, giving instructions, making explanations, and narrating events in personal and factual accounts. Remember that among these multimedia resources, always choose the correct and most appropriate one depending on the situation and purpose of your context. These are sub-concepts that you may need to learn that will help you use the correct and appropriate multimedia resources. 1. Giving information. This means to provide facts about something or someone. 2. Giving instructions. This means to give detailed information telling how something should be done. 3. Making explanations. It means to make a statement or account clear to someone by describing it in more clearly or revealing relevant facts or ideas. 4. Narrating events in personal and factual recounts. It means to tell a story or to tell what happened in detail. Did you understand the lesson? I hope you find this video helpful. If you like it, please hit the like button. And if you want to be updated with my new uploads, please hit the subscribe button and tap the notification bell. Bye everyone! Thanks for watching!